Hello from Myrtle Beach. Did you know that there is a plantation very close to Myrtle Beach that has ties to Gone with the Wind as well as George Washington? We are gonna take you there today. It is a short one hour drive from Myrtle Beach, an easy side trip when you come to Myrtle Beach for your family vacation. And this is definitely a family friendly activity. Hi, I'm Carmen. If you're new here, we cover everything Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area. And if you're a return viewer, welcome back. We are so glad to have you with us. The Hampton Plantation is steeped in history and it's one of the few remaining mostly intact plantations in South Carolina. It is part of the South Carolina State Parks system. So if you have an annual pass for the South Carolina State Parks, it will be included. The grounds are free regardless, but there is a small fee to tour the mansion on the plantation. We will get into specifics about pricing and other information a little later in this video. This is the visitor center. This is where you want to come to buy your tickets. That wasn't super clear when we arrived, but whether you have an annual pass and you need to show that, or you want to buy tickets for your family, this is where you need to show up to buy those tickets before the tours. I've been getting a lot of requests for things that you can do in a day trip or an afternoon when you're staying at Myrtle Beach for your family vacation. So this is a very good option. It's a family friendly option. Lots of stuff to do and learn here while you're visiting Hampton Plantation. And like I mentioned, it's a South Carolina State Park. Uh, there's all kinds of informational plaques. We'll talk about those more. There is a house tour. The house tours are only at the time of this video at noon and at 2 p.m. on Friday through Tuesday, that's it. So you definitely wanna be here at those times if you want to tour the mansion, but if you just wanna hike and walk the grounds, you can actually do that anytime during their hours. Their hours are posted on their website. I will link their website in the description below so that you can go and see whatever the current information is because it will change over time. At the time of this recording, the charge for adults is $10 to do the mansion tour and there are different prices for seniors, for children. So again, you can check all of that out on their website and it may change over time. But look at this, this is so beautiful. Uh, the history preserved here is really nice. I'm glad the state is managing this and preserving the time and history. Just look at this view of the mansion on the plantation from here in this amazing live oak. A lot of people ask what these trees are. They are live oaks. Uh, you can tell for a lot of reasons. They have sort of a distinctive look, but also they keep their leaves all throughout the winter. A lot of trees here actually keep their leaves, as you can see, uh, year round, uh, but these definitely do. And this one, of course, is draped in the beautiful Spanish moss. This is pretty interesting about this tree that I just showed you. It says this live oak tree was already old at least 40 when George Washington visited here. Uh, Hampton was one of the president's tour of the Southern States in 1791. Separated to reduce the risk of fire in the main house, this is the kitchen house uh, where the enslaved people cooked the meals for the wealthy plantation owners who lived in the main house. They cooked them three meals a day. I can't even imagine how hot this must have been. If you're not familiar with our summers here, they are brutal hot. So to be in there with wood fires, I just can't even imagine it. Over here at the back of the house, they have got some massive camellias blooming. Beautiful, beautiful color. Camellias do bloom in the winter months, but uh, a lot of things bloom this time of the year here. We have a warmer climate, not warm all the time, but warmer than a lot of places. And especially now we're getting even further south than Myrtle Beach. And so we're just following the grounds paths and reading the signs. We've got a sign here going to the grave site and gardens. And like I mentioned, there's a couple of hiking trails here as well. After the downstairs guided tour completed, we were allowed to come upstairs. You still have to be part of the tour to do that. 
and see the upstairs for ourselves. This is the top of that coffered ceiling from the ballroom, and you can see it was constructed, he said, similar to ship hull construction, only in reverse. All right, here's a little more of the upstairs. I didn't talk while we were downstairs because we were in the middle of a very informative guided tour. I highly recommend this tour. You learn a lot about the people who lived here. You learn a lot about the enslaved that worked here. Um, they also talk a lot about the history with the emancipation and both the Revolutionary War, the Civil War. So I would greatly uh, encourage you if you are someone who is interested in history or would just like to learn more about this area, uh, definitely an interesting tour, very informative. These walls were hand painted uh, decoratively. A lot of it is faded with time, but you can probably see on the film, I know it's hard to see, but there's a pattern uh, almost like wallpaper, except it's painting. Clark Gable was actually here scouting for Gone with the Wind, and because of his visit here on the album, they actually have Hampton Plantation there on the soundtrack album. Interestingly, they have a raised basement. There's the door to the basement. Uh, for those of you not from this area, basements here <laughs> underground are not a good idea because of the water table. Uh, and flooding, so uh, pretty fascinating that they actually built a raised basement. We are heading into the gardens now. I cannot even imagine what this would look like in peak season. Even the camellias are beautiful, but if we were in peak season, I know this would just be phenomenal. Uh, so if you can <laughs> come during the warmer months, I just think this would be absolutely spectacular. Another fascinating tidbit is that creek that's right back there was the only means of transportation in or out of the plantation. And so originally the back was the front and then later on the front was changed to the back and they built the front porch on at a later time. I've now walked down closer to the creek. Uh, so this again was their main mode of transportation. Another one of these amazing centuries old live oaks. And a much closer look at this creek and of course the um, rice fields. They said the sculpting and digging of these quadrants for the rice fields was probably more labor intensive than the building of the pyramid. I have headed down closer to get a better look at the creek that runs through on the property. And so just across the creek, that property is still owned by those who sold the land that I'm standing on to the South Carolina State Parks. Also by the creek, they have this observation area. So I definitely would encourage you to explore the whole grounds. Um, after the tour, it seemed like most people just took off, but there's definitely a lot to see here. Uh, it's pretty expansive property. They also have beautiful hiking trails. They have two sets of hiking trails here. So definitely check those out on your visit if you enjoy hiking. Definitely some beautiful scenery. If you'd like to learn more about Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area, click on the video on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.